Thanks to Clarice, I think that's what I can pronounce her name. Apologise for that. I have put on my uh, Facebook about vinyl. If anybody's got any to get rid of, or if they're not gonna, if they're about to chuck it or something. And I got a box from her. She actually lives locally, but she's about to move. Here we go, Paul Simon. This is the album with the obvious child on. Was it the obvious child? Was a single? I can't remember. I think it was the obvious child. And it's uh, gatefold. I have no idea what this is actually. It might be classical music, so enough to tell me. I haven't played it a lot. I haven't played any of this at all. Apart from stuff I've known from before, and I've had some of my collection before. Well, it's simply rare actually. There's no longer, uh, there's a band which is quite disappointing. Um, the Greatest Hits of Birds, the, uh, sorry, Greatest Hits of The Birds, Volume 2. So the cover's rough on some of these, but I think the records are fine. I'd look very quickly. Um, yeah, that's just, that's got it in the sleeve. I like these in the sleeves with. Um, or some sometimes like the older the older sixties ones and seventies albums have got four in Heart. I think this is her first album, I believe. Nineteen seventy six after the thing on Arista Records. So there you go. I'm not a big fan of the Bee Gees, but I like You Win Again, which is a which was a compil on a compilation hit seven which were never around. This is nineteen eighty seven on Warner Bros. Eric Clapton, August um, History by America. And uh, the horse of no name is my favourite. Genesis, I should say. Invisible Touch. The one track I like, and I've always liked instrumentals specifically. The Brazilians are really good on instrumental. Ultra Voss. Greatest Hits. And. Get cold. Sound Love Funkles Greatest Hits. You see around a lot, but you know. Santana. Yes. I kind of want this. Oh, Black Magic Woman is on there. Fantastic. Fit Mac. <laughs> That's better. Yeah. I wasn't surprised this amount of the a number of albums are in here. I said the uh, albums are in good condition. I have to get PV sleeves for these because uh, or I don't I don't like one thing I can't stand, and I've seen it many, many times even when I have my shop, is people taping the inside of the sleeves. It just makes me cringe. It's basically the equivalent of somebody putting their things on a chalkboard. It's like, oh, do do that. Don't put tape on the outside, put it on the inside so it fixes it. Uh, if you put tape on the inside, it keeps it clear. If you put tape on the outside of albums, it's like, oh, oh, don't do that. <laughs> Rock Palmer, classic album of his. Super Dramp. I've only seen um, Aqualung about. I've never seen this before, actually. I don't know where uh, it's probably more not rare at all. We're on Chrysalis from 1976. So. E for the Tillerman, Cat Stevens, probably one of the most famous albums with uh, Father and Son. Now I thought this is an act rock band foreigner, but it turns out in very defined letters, but very quite invisible, Cat Stevens and Foreigner. Oh, off this double album um, sleeve. Oh, okay. What's that then? Oh, I, like, I like surprises. <laughs> oh, okay. Very, very hard. <laughs> it's got lyrics, but oh, that's the first time I've seen an album, a very hard, like, car with lyrics. That's weird. <laughs> I thought, okay, that's got lyrics on it. Oops. Get the right way around and help. That's strange. Hmm, interesting. As I said, I... That's any trouble. Yeah, as I said, it's going a bit on the, some of these. Jump! Go ahead and jump! <laughs> Sounds like an old black Van Halen. Actually, it's the wrong way around. Pardon me. No, sorry. I really hate that. One of albums where you have the lyrics or title like... It's just where it is on the sleeve. That there. And titles are and that on that... Time to re uh, count it. Uh, this is got a very knackered sleeve, actually. Um, oh, is it gone? Oh, okay. Cash Stevens and numbers. You can see a very. I have to try and fix that. It's possible. No tape on the outside. Cash Stevens again. Oh yes, there's a few. And Van Halen. And da 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 da. Is this jump? I don't think it is, is it? No, I've got that totally wrong. It's actually here. Look at that. 
No, not Jump. I think the album's called Jump was on. I think it was the one where I can't remember which band Jet Van Halen come from originally. Um, yes, I wasn't a big fan either. Uh, going for the one. This is always one of the confused albums, I thought there was more than one vinyl in it. Because of the album, so look at that. Peter Gabriel, the modern Peter Gabriel, and so with Sledgehammer, this is actually the album that come off. Donovan, yes, again, a bit of a worn sleeve, but uh, it's not easy to fix stuff like this. Oh, pardon me. There you go. Uh, a compilation I can't even kept because of the tracks. You got uh, Patty the Bow, Double, Dire Straight. Sometimes I like compilations. Some compilations have been low re recorded, so when you play in their choir, the monkeys. Thick vinyl. I'm not quite sure if it's 180 gram vinyl. Hard is I used to have the greatest hits, but I've got it back now. I'm not quite sure what this is. Jethro Tull, a minstrel, minstrel in the gallery. So I know I'm not I was actually holding it right. So. Yeah, classical music prevailed in four seasons. Holly Sing Dylan. Look at that. One of the most famous famous albums of all time. Yeah. The reason I kept this because of the compilation when what was on it, an hour of hits. So you got the Marcells, you got Lonnie Donegan and the Kinks, so 10 cc. Fragile by yes. Dire Straits, Brothers and Arms, one of the most eight famous albums ever created. No Jackie Required by Phil Collins, and it's got a studio on here. Which is, and One More Night, Vangelis. Now, and this is the same guy who did the Blade Runner soundtrack originally. Heaven and Hell, this album. So, obviously, Vangelis. Uh, this is And Then There Were Three. I think so. I've never had an album by these guys at all. Living is fine, but I'm going to give it a bash. Yeah. No one more Genesis Duke. Robert, uh. Beethoven's Symphony Fifth in C minor and 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 more. Uh, it's gonna be better. Uh, that's all I think. Other singles of that. There you go. Another one on Genesis. I can never remember. Uh, Abacab. Abacab. Yeah. Now, this is quite funny. When I turn, when I open this, I thought, oh, got it, got it, got it. But that. A bit of a joke here, that, but there are no records in it. <laughs> it's a book, was it? I, th I used to have this, I thought, ah, great, but no, <laughs> no, no, um, no vinyl in it, unfortunately. I do have seven inch singles, but I'm not trying to collect seven inch singles, really. But now the finale, oh, yes, um, I couldn't believe I picked this out of the box. Yes, yes, got it back, got it back. Oh yes, fantastic album, really a lot of disco in it, but I love the opening. They're turning their plans against us. Doom, doom, doom. I just love that drop. So if anybody has got this, this is the original vinyl. In my opinion, the gold specimen in the entire box. Unbelievable. I picked that out, I thought, yes! I couldn't believe I got that. Fantastic stuff.